Okay. Your favorite 80s or 90s song? Groove Me by God. <laughs> So David, tell me, and let's not put myself on fire, tell me more about these ingredients that we have here that you will be uh, composing into your dish. What yeah. we do is we start off sauteing our onions and peppers. You can use red onions because they have great, great color and great flavor. There's some green peppers, and then there is some orange peppers as well. Black beans, and whole turn of oil. Got some chorizo sausage. I personally like the cumin oil. Nice. Something a little bit different as opposed to the powder. Right. You can use either one, it doesn't matter. You've got <laughs> the onions and peppers, and you've got, you're gonna saute that a little bit with the cumin. Oh. You're gonna add in your black beans, corn. Okay. And then after you cook your chorizo, you're basically gonna take your sausage like this, cut it in half, and give it a very small mess. You wanna make sure to not overcook the chorizo because you still want it to be moist. This is what your finished product is, oh, is gonna look like. So it's good. the black beans, it's the onions, it's the relish, and the one ingredient that I like to top it with, fresh Jersey tomato. You are taking every single component and, and making it shine. That's what I like about it. You ready for a taste test? Ready for a taste test. Mm. Taste the flavors, it's cumin. Corn. Everything. Really, really good. It's like a party. It's like a fiesta. It's a fiesta in Fie your mouth. Fiesta is happening yes, right now. Yes, it Cue is. the music. Tell me more about Achievability and how Eatable Delights got involved with Achievability, Food for Thought. I believe this is our fourth year. Nice. So I have a funny story. When the ex CEO, his name is Marcus Allen, was there, I kind of like stalked him for a few years. <laughs> and because I know it's a great event, and usually they only allow restaurants in, right. but I wanted the premier caterers in Philadelphia. Right. So I felt it only be fitting right. that they have one of the premier caterers to showcase what it was that they were doing. Because it's all about achievability, you know. Right, exactly. Right. Okay, so we're ready for rapid fire. Rapid fire, let's go. Favorite place that you've ever traveled? Phoenix. Arizona. Your culinary mentor. Martha Stewart. Ooh. Really, I just love how she brings all the colors that. and all the flavors to life and how yes. she just brings everything in it. If she makes it for home or she makes it for an event, Martha Stewart definitely pioneered. Craziest thing you've ever made? I cooked at home for the first quarter mm -hmm. and I made a meatloaf and the meatloaf was comprised of all of the leftovers. So I had some glazed carrots from when you shave off the skin of the Glazed carrots, we put that in there, I put some red wine in there, I put some nachos, I put some peanuts. Ooh. And then I topped it with a cream of mushroom soup. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Coming to your house. Favorite thing about being in Philly? The food scene has really come full circle. It's really about not just the cheese steaks and the pretzels and the hoagies. We've got some of the finest chefs throughout the country. We've got some of the major restaurants. And we also have some of the greatest conventions and things that come here on a yearly basis. So Philadelphia has so much to offer as far as culinary and as far as exhibits and things like that.